I've always wanted to start a Minecraft server, but I don't have many people to play with. I guess I'll just stick to my realm and play alone, sad, and wishing for more. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Carl Monroe, and I mean that as in a list. I'm numbers 1 to 10. I have multiple personalities. Minecraft is a game that lets you unleash your creative energy to the world, but what happens when we take that to the extreme? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the top 10 Minecraft servers you won't believe exist. Roll the intro. In a tent, Earth MC. The description is in the name, a towny survival server which is something you won't really see much on this list. The server is based on a real world map of the globe. You can build a house in your own country or move to another. There is even a dine map feature that allows you to request to go to war with another country. You can even ally with nations and become enemies. What would the Minecraft version of war be? Like whoever just kills the leader first? Are there even leaders? They use gold ingots as currency and it's used for things like purchasing goods from player merchants, dealing with other countries, and it's even used for claiming land for your own town. If you've never played Townie before, I highly recommend this, it is one of my favorite server game modes. In at 9, the Atlas Project. While you may be used to the average Minecraft experience, punch a tree, break your hands, make a pick to get some stone, break some heads, build a castle, you may find another type of experience refreshing. One look at the Atlas Project and your jaw will drop at only one of the server's custom biomes. The survival server is an MMORPG, which stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. It features cool quests and epic loot, so if you're interested in something as massive as it can be, make sure you check it out. The server is running version 1.13, and you can join using the IP play.mc-atlas.com. This is also all done within vanilla Minecraft, but with the command blocks and server plugins these days, you can really do anything in vanilla. You can even have custom blocks using texture packs, and I'm not kidding, they're called CIT packs, look them up. I have used one in my game, and I've decorated my house beautifully. In at 8, 2BT2. 2BT2, also known as 2 Builders 2 Tools, is perhaps the oldest anarchy server in existence. The server with no rules or mods has been operational for years, and it does a really good job at showing how important rules actually are. The spawn is absolutely destroyed, and you will get killed 1000 times before even making it out of the spawn area. This server encourages violence in the easiest way possible, not preventing anything. Hacking, trolling, griefing, anything goes, and you can really tell. This server is so popular there is a wait queue to get in. The queue can range from 1 to 1000, and you literally can't do anything. For some reason, Boss health bars keep appearing with messages like, The Legion will come in your eye. So if you think having no rules would be a good idea, and that freewheeling magic only has pros, you're wrong. There is almost nowhere on the server that hasn't been found, and there is at least one block missing every chunk. The biggest thing is the spawn though. This is what global warming will do, people. Or just loads of erosion. And it's 7 family friendly. There's a slew of family friendly Minecraft servers out there, and most of them are telling the truth. But one family friendly server was not. The server listing was tagged with almost every server tag there was, including both modded and vanilla as well as the recent game versions all the way since 1.12. So you can tell that some of these are big lies. I got on the server to which I haven't been able to find again, but the first thing I saw was players dropping f-bombs and using derogatory slang. Usually on family friendly servers you get yelled at for saying damn. And these people were throwing around f-bombs like a round of Bomberman. The fact that I got to experience this was very surreal and put me in the mindset of verifying the servers you play on before you do. Especially if I had thought the server was for kids, if my kids had been on there, oh boy, I would have gotten angry at the server for sure. And at 6, MC Cities. This is more of a roleplay server. The server is themed more towards adults and not due to obscene imagery or strip clubs, but because it has its own economy based on real life. You basically are just role playing real life. You get a job, work, sell stuff, earn money, pay rent, meet friends, or become a criminal and start horrifyingly murdering everyone you see. Or the much funner option, become a vigilante and start dealing with the criminals. As you can probably tell, there is a lot on this server that you can do. I actually had an idea like this a while ago and I'm glad someone was able to do it because I'm not good at building. And at 5, Invaded Lands V2. This server has got to be the worst server I've ever seen. The parody of YouTuber Skeppy server has literally nothing to do. Skeppy made a video where he goes on the server and everything is wrong. The kit system was a chest that says take one kit only, and it was intended as a kit PvP server. But the PvP didn't work, and neither did the chests actually. Skeppy had to tell him the console command to be able to enable accessing chests. And he tried to enable PvP, but it still didn't work because it was the spawn. The server is a flat world 
with a big gross mess of blocks as a spawn area with the chest and then an ice dome around the whole thing that was melting because it was a plains biome. There was no roof over the actual spawn and everything was not centered. Honestly, things in this video were so bad I feel like it had to have been a setup for the video because Lord Jesus H Christ it was bad. And at 4 Nerd and You. According to the official wiki page for Nerd.nu, it is one of the oldest Minecraft servers still running today. The server went online June 10th, 2009, literally days after the multiplayer mode was added. The server is based out of the United States by users Cujo Bear, Silver Sunset, Tortilla, and Zombies. While the amount of unique users that play is unknown, the wiki has almost 36,000 registered users, so that's pretty impressive. Today, Nerd.nu hosts three different server types, Creative, PvE, and Minigames, and that's pretty standard for most modern servers. They also host the occasional event on their special event server. The Creative server is the longest running server and is currently on its 32nd iteration. They always welcome new players to both the server and the game, and they claim their servers are fair, fast, and friendly. A triple threat. If you would like to join, the IP to the server is literally the same name, so do it and look it up if I'm wrong. And at 3 Richard, I seriously cannot make this stuff up. This server is dedicated to d Literally everything on this server is shaped like the male love arm. The world is a giant island shaped like it, there is a custom texture pack that makes the tools into d and even the houses and mountains are, you guessed it, shaped normal. No, they're shaped like d you guys. I don't know how this happened, it must have taken a lot of work and perhaps they were a bit shorthanded. Get it? No? Just me? Well, not all the mountains are shaped like Johnson's, but there is one giant mountain at the center, like the Throat of the World-esque, that is shaped like a member and it is a volcano. And you never know when it will erupt. I don't know why I'm still talking about this, I'm just in shock. And at 2, the Satanic Temple. I haven't been able to find much about this server, but from what I've seen, and what I've heard, the Satanic Temple is a Minecraft server like where only the spawn is protected and you can destroy everything from like 20 blocks away from the spawn. Apparently the spawn room has been cut out and is a giant lava moat around it so you now can't get rid of it because you don't have any blocks because you just spawned. So you'll have to attempt to cross like a 5 block gap of lava which is impossible without hacks but I guess they're allowed since they only have the spawn protected. I wonder if things start burning instantly after you place them, like if they're flammable that is. I don't have the IP and I can't find much info about it so I may have dreamt it. If I did, this should be a real thing. Do it. And finally, taking our number one spot, the Vatican. We did it boys, there is an actual official Minecraft Christian server. While you may be familiar with the not on my Christian Minecraft server meme, this is typically set on servers that aren't devoutly Christian. However, there is now a Minecraft server founded by a priest of the Vatican. Yeah. In September of 2019, Robert Belesser polled his Twitter followers asking what game he should start a server for in the Vatican. The response was overwhelmingly Minecraft. The idea was to create an environment for gamers who want to be less toxic. However, the server has been overwhelmed by demand and DDoS attacks. Robert tweeted saying, I am looking at the logs of the Minecraft test server and it looks like there are a handful of people who are constantly connecting and disconnecting to fill the player slots and kill the server. Interesting. And as soon as they got word out due to popular news outlets picking up their story, the demand grew even higher. They are trying to fix everything and say that after the issues are resolved, the server will be whitelisted and they aren't putting up with BS from anyone. Someone tweeted out saying they randomly got banned and asking to be unbanned, to which Robert replied, the mods were watching you for more than an hour, that wasn't random. Which is honestly just a really funny response and I'm very proud. There we have it friends, the top 10 Minecraft servers you won't believe exist. I had to go to some pretty old websites for this one, so some of these may no longer be operational. But I did hope you had fun with me. If you enjoyed, be sure you hit like and subscribe and comment down below with what your favorite Minecraft server is. While you do that, I'll read out some comments from a past video. Emma the Cat said, Connor, cheese is the saint of the food world. I know, why do you think I rule it? Robbie Shock said, backwards compatible all the way to the Xbox, time to hit up some game stops for some oldies but goldies. You know it brother, if I had anything other than a 360 I, I would, but I, I've converted to PC. Stained Angel said, three. Um, yes. Fratura Palmer said, the Cheese King is back. I never left baby, I'm like all you've been seeing for like the past month, and I've always been the Cheese King so it's not like he left. Come on. That's all we got time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video.